I think the only pregnancy update I've done for this pregnancy uh, was my like first trimester recap. So this is going to be like a second trimester recap. A second. A second trimester recap. <laughs> hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Um, welcome back to another pregnancy update. My name's Jamie. If you guys are new, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe down below so you can stay caught up with all the things happening over here on my channel. Um, if you guys are not new, then hello, welcome back. Here I am, <laughs> I'm finally doing another pregnancy update. I am currently 30 weeks pregnant right now and it just boggles my mind that I'm that far along um, on one hand and then on the other hand, I definitely feel like I am because I feel bigger. I was so sick for so long that I feel like it's like about dang time that I'm 30 weeks pregnant, you know what I'm saying? Alrighty, so the sickness and the nausea kind of let up around 20-ish weeks. Um, I still would get sick in the morning time, I would still get sick at night time, um, off and on, but it wasn't like consistent non-stop nausea like it had been. For me right now at 30 weeks, I still kind of get sick in the morning time if I don't eat fast enough or if I have like a super empty belly, then I will feel really nauseous and if I don't have anything on my stomach, then of course I, I will just dry heave, which is always lovely. Thumbs up if you guys know what that feels like. So I was really looking forward to my second trimester because I was looking forward to having a little bit more energy and feeling just more of myself, but I was not expecting to be exhausted. Like literally, I feel like once the nausea started getting a little bit better, my body just went into like hibernation mode. It was like trying to catch up on all the sleep and recover from all the exhaustion of being sick, like I felt so tired, you guys. I asked a lot of you guys on my Instagram if um, this, if you guys had experienced this. It felt like my blood sugar was off. I felt dizzy, I felt exhausted. So I was thinking maybe gestational diabetes. A lot of you guys had told me maybe my iron was low. So I went into my midwife appointment, I brought it up to her, and I said, you know, I, I don't know if it's my blood sugar, I don't know what it is, it might be my iron, and she had said, well, you know, we'll do your test, we'll see what it looks like. Everything came back totally normal, praise God, but I did um, have a conversation with her about like protein and about how much I was eating throughout the day. My cousin Lorraine had said the same thing to me, like make sure you're eating all the time, consistently munching, and it's funny because this is my fourth like pregnancy this far, and so, You'd think that I would know this. You'd think I would like get this and it would be a priority and I would continuously eat all the time because I, I mean, this is not new news to me. This is not my first rodeo. However, when you're taking care of kids and you're going nonstop, I feel like it's so easy to just forget. Or if they sit down to eat lunch, I take it as a time of, oh, I can do the dishes real quick because they're all sitting down. You know, and then before I know it, I've had a cliff bar all day and that's all I've had. So I've been trying to eat consistently. I've also been trying to have protein before I go to bed so that when I wake up in the morning, I'm not dry heaving and I'm not as sick. I started drinking vitamin waters um, or like coconut water because I've been trying to get extra electrolytes in my body just to kind of make me feel a little bit more alive. But yeah, that has been a battle. I have had a ton of sciatica. That's something that I did not have as much in my other pregnancies. I think with Jude I had some sciatica, but I have gotten to the point where I've like fallen over because I can't put any pressure on my right leg. At my last appointment, I was 28 weeks and um, my midwife had said that she did not think she was head down. She thought she was um, head up right underneath my ribs. I was feeling really, really short of breath. If you can't tell, I'm still feeling short of breath. But I was having extreme heartburn all the time. I was on fire. It was horrible. And then all of a sudden, my heartburn got better and so I think she's head down now I think that things have shifted and she's like in a comfortable position all my other kids um, have been head down I think by 30 31 32 weeks and so we'll see I think she's head down right now though she likes to kick all the time Ingrid is a mover she is a mover and a shaker you guys she does not stop she goes all the time which I was so waiting so so patiently, but 
anxiously um, for her to move in my first trimester. I mentioned that in that update, but I was just so anxious to feel her and to just um, have that reassurance that she's alive and growing and kicking and moving. And ever since I started feeling her kick, you guys, I have not stopped. <laughs> she moves all the time. She's either hitting me on one side while she's kicking me on the other, and she goes all the time. She especially moves when Fiona talks to her. Fiona will come up to my belly and talk to her. All the kids will. But when she hears Fiona's voice, she starts kicking and moving, and Fiona will ask her, Ingrid, give me a little movie movie, movie around for me. <laughs> and so she'll start moving. I don't think I ever had that in any of my other pregnancies. I don't remember really the baby interacting a ton when they were inside of me. Like some people will poke and the baby will poke back. I don't remember having any of that. And so having that recognition when Fiona starts talking to her and having her like kick and start moving even if it's early morning and she's been totally still in my belly and nothing um Fiona will come in and she'll talk to her and she'll start moving and it's just so so sweet uh, this pregnancy has thrown me for a loop as far as my emotions go I have been known now in my family to like don't make mom laugh because if mom starts laughing she will start sobbing <laughs> I go from laughing and being happy about something to sobbing like uncontrollably and then all these emotions come up and I'm like crying about being overwhelmed and crying about I'm, I'm tired, I'm crying because nobody ate their dinner. If I think something is funny, look out because five seconds later I'm going to be sobbing about like five other things. And so that has been interesting. Poor Jude. Now when, if I start laughing about something, Jude will go, you okay mom? You gonna cry? You gonna cry? And I'm like, no, I'm okay. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> He's like scarred for life now because I'm so emotional. I feel like though now looking back at my second trimester, I was a little bit more even keeled. I could rationalize a little bit better. Now that I'm in my third trimester, I feel like agitated all the time. My fuse is like this big. Like I have no fuse essentially. I am just, I'm agitated. I'm irritated. I fly off the handle. My temper is I feel super big right now. I feel like, I don't know, everyone has told me this is like my smallest pregnancy. They're like, you look the smallest that you've been in all of your pregnancies. And I don't feel it. Like I don't, I feel really huge. <laughs> For a while she felt smaller and I think at my last ultrasound they said she was like 25 or something percentile. Like she was smaller, um, 30 percent, I don't remember what it was. But now I feel like she's kicking in high gear and she is um, moving and grooving, putting the pounds on and getting bigger. And so with her getting bigger, I feel like I'm getting bigger. <laughs> but I am trying to just embrace it and um, enjoy this pregnancy. There's a good chance that this might be my last. I feel pretty spread thin right now with my kids. And I know they're all young ages, but I just want to be the best mom that I can be for them. I just, I know my limits. Let's just say that. I know my limits and I think this is my last baby because I think this is what I can handle <laughs> or this is what I believe God's going to give me the ability and the capability to handle, you know? And so with that being said, I am trying to enjoy this last pregnancy, but I am getting very, very excited to meet her and to see her. Um, I can't wait to see what she looks like. I think she's going to look like Ezra. I think she's going to have darker hair. Um, Fiona and Jude both have blonde hair, blue eyes. I think she's going to look a little more like Ezra. But I've usually been wrong, so she'll probably look like Fiona and Jude. <laughs> but I'm just getting really excited to meet her. Some of you guys had asked me about postnatal depression. Um, I struggled with depression during all of my pregnancies as well as postpartum depression. And I have gone through influxes of it I feel like this pregnancy as far as like my hormones have gone but um I don't feel like it's been like it has gotten in other pregnancies I do want to say that I think a contributing factor to me not going through as much of that is the fact that I have stayed on the antidepressant throughout this pregnancy I did a video I'll link up here talking about my plans if we conceived um, staying on an antidepressant I did and I feel a lot better I feel a lot more stable um, I don't feel so foggy in my thought process and I just feel better and so I'm glad that I chose to do that because I think that that's helped me to be 
here and present and be able to take care of my kid. All right guys, so I think that's it for this pregnancy update. Um, it's just been crazy and I'm sorry that I haven't done consistent updates like in my other pregnancies, but this season of life has just been like no other one that I've had, I've gone through. And so um, sitting down and filming has been far, few and far between. I know you guys understand that though. I did have some more questions on Instagram related to this pregnancy, so I'm gonna do a separate video based on those pregnancy questions, as well as a video on how we came up with Ingrid's name. So thank you guys all for just being supportive and following me on this journey. I hope you guys are all blessed and I will see you guys next time.